Hey guys, it's another Tuesday afternoon on the river. Um, they live in the river. I know, but didn't you say there were alligators right up there? I don't, I don't know where they are. What are you here, bud? What are you here? I bet you can't catch a catfish. I'm not using the right kind of bait for a catfish. But I bet if I stayed here 24 hours through the night, I could catch one catfish. You can give him a kiss for me. What's the deal? You usually give him a kiss for me. Why do you have your GoPro in the water to drop the case on it? Another, another one pound, half pound bass, I bet you. Hey, Tyler. Look at here. Another day, Tyler, right there off the two So we're having potatoes like we normally do. Now I came in my car this time. We don't have a table, so using the ice chest as a table. Got some taters cut up, but we're throwing, making a little bit different this time. This time we're putting crawfish tails in there. We got some shrimp as well, but I'm gonna add a little bit different flavor here. Also adding some mushrooms. We've done that at the house, but that's gonna be good as well. Did y'all grow those onions? Yeah. Homegrown onions, what about the peppers? Yeah, I just picked it. Homegrown bell peppers as well. vegetable oil in there with it mix it up. We are also gonna have some deer meat here. Now this deer meat, I put some uh, Jack Daniel steak seasoning. I'll show you that, but I would sprinkle it on there, stir it up, sprinkle it and stir it up. And then I would baste it with some Worcester sauce and let it soak. Did that a few times. So, you know, you can see that liquid in the corner. That's got some Worcester sauce in there with it. And like I say, just some deer, deer steak right here. Here's the steak seasoning. All right, so seasonings we like to use usually combination of this steak seasoning and the slap your mama she's putting the slap your mama on there now so seasoning sold on there. well it seems like when we seems like you can't even hardly taste it after it's cooked sometimes that's probably good what well, is it crawfish tail all right, save the rest. Farmer Bear grew this watermelon right here. Oh, yeah. We're gonna have it. I can tell you from our last trip, watermelon on the banks of the river hits the spot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got picked a little green. Don't mind, Sammy. Just Yep, there's a little green. Little green. We'll see how good the heart is. All right, Tyler said it's okay, but not as good as uh, a ripe one. Was it as good as the one we had at Nanny's the other day? Um, I didn't even try any any in, at, at Nanny's. Dang, and we we grew that at Nanny's. Right, what do you score the watermelon? I already told you. Five out of ten or two? Five. Five out of ten. I'm giving it a five out of ten, but I man, can't... when it's hot, this cold watermelon does still hit the spot. And we like to slow cook our taters. After a while, we'll put the deer meat on. Tyler wanted most of this shrimp to be his, so he's got aluminum foil right here full of shrimp. Break that open. Let's see. Hope that's now I bet I can get all the shrimp he's got. Hmm. Yeah. Tyler's like his poppy. He's a big shrimp eater. What do you give that? You don't. You haven't tasted one yet, have you? Mm -mm, it's too hot. You might want to let them cool off. You can let them cool if you want. Oh, that was hot. Yeah, let them cool. Let them cool. Got the deer meat on there now. Somewhat slow cooking, I think. No, I don't splash him. Regret it. I'm telling you. This deer meat right here. Me and Barry tried a piece. 
on a wild game skill, that's a 10 out of 10. Hey, what'd you say that shrimp was, bud? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I know how to box. <laughs> what about swim? Do you know how to swim? Yeah. Because you better. When I'm sitting on top of you, do you know how to swim? When he's holding your head underwater for about five minutes, do <laughs> you know how to swim? Like when I was going to put I'm your head in a... I'm a... What? I'm going to splash you. What's up? All right, let's look at these taters. My goodness. You can see the... Um, take a look at this. You can see those potatoes are cooked till they're soft. You can see the um, the crawfish. Going to give it an excellent flavor. Now, to me, the mushrooms just absorb all the flavor of everything around it. So, I love mushrooms in this kind of dish right here. One of the things we've been doing on these Tuesday night cookouts is we come down here and maybe read a little bit about the Bible and discuss it. So I'm going to read just a Bible verse here. Um, one of the things we looked at this evening is prayer. Um, I had a story that was on my phone. It was actually a podcast. And um, it was talking about prayer. So I'm just going to read a scripture real quick about prayer. So here's a Bible verse I like. It's from the book of Romans chapter 12. It says, Rejoicing in hope patient in tribulation, continuing steadfastly in prayer. The old NIV I read is when I was younger, I believe it said, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. One of the, um, the things that said on the podcast we were listening to, the name of the podcast I believe is 365 Christian Men. And they just talk about stories from different Christian men's lives and they have a different story um, every day of the year but one of the main points is if you wonder whether prayer really works or not just keep praying well guys I'm going to sit here and enjoy this food first mushroom I ate was excellent deer meat's a 10 out of 10 thanks for watching <laughs>